everyone. Today I'm going to make chocolate peanut butter mud bars. These are basically chocolate chip peanut butter cookie bars with a layer of chocolate on top. Let's go ahead and get started. For this recipe, you're going to need one and one fourths cup of oat flour. You can either make oat flour on your own by putting oats into your blender, or you can find oat flour at a lot of health food stores like Whole Foods. You'll also need one cup of sugar. You can use brown sugar, raw turbinado sugar, coconut sugar. I'm going to use brown sugar this time. One fourth cup of oats. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder and one fourth teaspoon of sea salt. One fourth cup of almond milk, plus a little more if you need some help with the mixing process. Two teaspoons of vanilla one cup of peanut butter, and finally chocolate chips. You're going to put some chocolate chips into the dough and reserve the rest for spreading on top of the mud bars when they're all done. The amount of chocolate chips you use is up to you. You can use one half cup in the dough and one half cup on top, or you can use up to one cup in and one cup on top. I'm going to do somewhere in between the two. The first thing I did was melt my peanut butter in the microwave and pour it into a large mixing bowl. Then you can add your sugar and vanilla. Then you can stir all of these ingredients together. Bit by bit, you can add in all of your dry ingredients, stirring in between. Then you can add the non-dairy milk to help with the stirring process. And this is what the dough should look like when you're all done stirring. Next, you can add in the chocolate chips. Stir them into the mixture and then your dough will be complete. Now you'll need a square baking pan. This one is nine by nine. Line your pan with parchment paper going both ways. I have it going vertically and horizontally. And now you can get started putting your dough into the pan. Now you can flatten the dough out. Next, I put the bars in a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now it's time to add the chocolate chips on top of the bars. If your chocolate chips aren't melting easily to spread, just put your pan back in the oven for a couple minutes and the chocolate chips will melt and spread super easily. And that's it, just let everything come to room temperature and then you can cut them and dig in. I ended up putting about a half cup of chocolate chips in the bars and a whole cup of chocolate chips on top of the bars. So this recipe turned out really well. Just a couple of notes. If you don't have a handheld mixer or if you just don't want to use one, you can melt the peanut butter before you get started and then just use a spoon to stir everything together. If you don't want to do that, of course, you can not melt the peanut butter and just use a handheld mixer, but it might be kind of hard to not melt the peanut butter and use a spoon. It might be a little bit difficult in the stirring department. And then another thing is that I made a double batch of this recipe and in one pan I was checking them closely in the oven and made sure that I slightly underbaked them and with the other pan I took them out of the oven when they were fully cooked and I preferred the slightly underbaked softer and chewier mud bars so if you like that just watch your oven closely so I think that is everything I wanted to tell you these turned out really well they were a favorite with everyone who I shared them with let me know if you give them a try because I would love to hear about how they turn out Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!